For this project, I developed a generative pattern system implementing behaviors of geometric elements. These rendered images are a part of the results generated by the system. I used several geometric primitives, such as circles, rectangles, and closed curves. Then, used behaviors such as randomize, push, grow, etc. to drive geometric elements to form unique patterns. Then these patterns are wrapped onto a variety of surfaces. The purpose of this system is to generate various building skin design options for architects. Utilizing behaviors on geometric elements sometimes can generate unexpected yet organized patterns. Behaviors can include random location, random size, pushing, wandering, growing, shrinking, exploding, born, die, and many more. In this research, five of these are realized to demonstrate the core idea. These are the geometric primitives, like uh, circles and rectangles. And these are the surfaces. And these are the behaviors. And this is the wrapping engine. This is the referred surface in Rhino. If I connect this to surface, it will generate a well-organized circle pattern. If I connect this behavior into this input, nothing happens because everything's false now. So if I turn on random location and random size, and if I turn off again, and now we see a difference. So if we check it, some of the patterns are um, overlapped. And some of them are just uh, interrupting the comfort zone. And if we turn on this pushing, those elements will push each other until they reach an equilibrium. But now we see they are still interrupting because the step is one. They just push once. If I raise it up to 50, Now we see the equilibrium is reached at step 24. So if we go to perspective and turn this off and then map this pattern on the surface. Now we see the pattern is smoothly mapped to the surface. For wrapping patterns onto surfaces, I utilize a technique similar to UV mapping. Conventionally, when the numbers of elements increases, the time to compute intersection of each element increases exponentially. In this research, I developed an algorithm so that each element only searches the elements that are very nearby them. Using this algorithm, computational time is linearly proportional to the number of the elements.